folks, it's John with CajunTropicals.com. Going on a little road trip today with Lisa. We were able to escape the house uh, and, and get away from the kids and go on a little day trip uh, to fish stores. It's something that her and I, we haven't done in a long time. She's recording now, but uh, we haven't done this in a long time, but thought we would take you with us. Uh, it's a rainy day here in King George. We're heading down to Richmond, Virginia. Uh, we're gonna go to one, maybe two, maybe even three stores today. Uh, the first one that we're gonna go to is called Fish World in Richmond. <clears throat> and the reason why we're going down there is because I was there last week and uh, and I wanna show you the place because it's really cool. Uh, we're going down today in search of rock. And uh, I also wanna pick up some test kits uh, so that, because I mean, I'm taking this reef thing seriously. So I wanna do it right and get some test kits. Uh, I have kind of made the decision that I'm going to go with dry rock. However, the, the guy at the store at uh, Fish World, he might convince me to go with live rock. Uh, the rock that he has there that he has cured himself. We'll have to see. I don't know. We'll see if he can talk me into it. It's kind of expensive though. But watching videos and hearing what you have suggested to me uh, has made me kind of feel like dry rock is the safest way to go but we'll see what happens when we get there uh, when we get to fish world we'll, we'll do a little tour of the store and uh, and maybe you know if he's up for it maybe uh, interview the owner a little bit ask him some questions and you know help he can maybe help us get started so really excited about it we've got about another 40 minutes or so before we get there so uh, I'm not gonna tr film the whole trip that'd be ridiculous so We'll cut it off now. Next time I see you, we'll be at the store. All right, so we'll start off here. I'll give you a little walkthrough of the store itself. When you first come in, this is actually in the back of the building. Uh, you'll see this huge wall here full of all of the different supplies, dry goods, equipment, half of which I don't even know what they do, but I'm learning. I'm, I'm getting at it. Uh, there's Lisa admiring the big 1200 gallon tank. Unfortunately, I didn't get a whole lot of footage of this tank, and I, I thought I did, but I, I guess it, I don't know, who knows what happened. I will get it at a future date, though, I promise. Uh, then we move over here. They've got some of the larger corals in these tanks, uh, along with some shrimp and some gobies and small fish to clean things up, keep things situated in these tanks. Uh, once again, most of these corals, I don't really know what they are, but they're absolutely fascinating, uh, something that I can't wait to get into down the road but you know I got to do this right got to take my time and make sure that I have everything ready before I start dumping a bunch of money into these kind of things so all kinds of stuff in these tanks usually these are the larger corals they do have a couple other tanks uh, that again I'll, I'll get footage of on another trip but uh, that has smaller frags smaller corals more inexpensive corals these here are, are some of the larger ones uh, but I'm sure that I will pick a couple out uh, for the 24 gallon here sooner or later. But then we move over to this uh, fish wall and these are a bunch of tanks in the wall that they built this really nice rack system. Uh, I don't know, it kind of looks like you're on a ship or something. Really neat the way they did that. And there's Joe, the owner of the shop. Really good dude. Spent a lot of time with him that day. And then here we come to the 900 gallon tank that's in a, a kind of a back room of the back room. And I wanted to show you this coral real quick. This thing is something that Joe pointed out to me and it's unbelievable. When you look at this coral in the back there, the green one, do you see it? Do you see the elephant? <laughs> when I saw that, I couldn't get away from it. That, that every single time I look in that tank now, I see an elephant. So we're exploring farther back here into the, the back area of it and uh, more display tanks and the rock system. This is the, the third step in the process that they use for curing their live rock. Uh, and this is after I had picked through it and gotten a bunch out of there. But uh, this is where they cure their own live rock. They've got their own independent system specifically for this. So I was very confident in, in selecting rocks out of here, confident that they would be free of all of the garbage and the nightmares that we hear people talk about. 
now we move on to this beautiful bow front tank huge anemones in there I don't know what kind of anemones they are but they're absolutely gorgeous and there is one particular inhabitant of this tank that we're gonna talk about in a minute that uh, I just absolutely adore uh, I don't know what that big stomach looking thing right there is but it's cool and it's huge gigantic uh, a lot of these tanks have been in here literally for decades so these corals that you see that are gigantic like that it's because they've been in there for a very very long time one of the fish that got me interested in fish keeping is the lionfish that is a big one you can't really tell in this video but that fish is about the size of a volleyball absolutely massive I am not thinking of picking one of those up to put into one of my small little nano tanks but then let's go back to this guy or this girl should I say this clownfish I couldn't take my eyes off of her I was just watching her constantly she's kind of the the mascot of the store her name is the clown in the back because she's always been in one of the back rooms in one of the tanks she hangs out in that anemone and here's the fascinating thing about that fish folks that fish was put into this store when they first opened the store and they've had the store for 29 years so Joe swears to me that that clownfish which I'll show again here in a minute that clownfish is 29 years old absolutely unbelievable I had no idea that there were any fish that even lived that long now a scary story while we were there this is a very aggressive fish and if you put your hands anywhere near the tank she will come to try to bite you well she did that to a lady while we were there she actually jumped out of the tank and ended up on the floor but Joe said not to worry she's very strong and very hardy she's done that before she'll be fine if Joe's not worried I'm not worried either so now we go back to the 900 gallon tank uh, Lisa was there just with her jaw wide open absolutely fascinated by this thing and so was I once again you get a really good idea of what a mature very advanced reef system is gonna look like I'm not gonna have anything like this in my two nano tanks but you never know I can already see this saltwater hobby kind of kind of taking hold here and not taking over my freshwater hobby not at all but being a nice addition to it and being something that you know maybe I'll shoot for something like that look at the size of that thing I don't know what it is but wow I mean in seeing it in person is way different than seeing it here on video it, it's just it's massive and I just sat there and I just stared at that thing watching it kind of slowly sway around unbelievable the fish in here are beautiful they're huge I, I don't know I'm at a loss for words not really a whole lot more to say what are you doing I'm just taking pictures all right so there it was our trip to fish world uh, I got to tell you folks this was almost like a trip to an amusement park for for her and I she's behind the camera right now she didn't want to be on the video but that was that was one of the better experiences that I've had at a fish store in a very long time now a lot of it had to do with how good the staff is there the owner Joe is amazing the the employee that he has in there I don't I don't know his name uh, he's been in there every time I've been in there he's a great guy too they're both very knowledgeable the store is incredible a lot of it also might have to do with the fact that all of this is new to us I know Lisa was walking around with her jaw open uh, throughout most of the time in there I mean it, it was just it was fun I learned a lot and we got a lot of stuff I uh, went in there wanting to look at uh, live rock and test kits uh, first thing I'll tell you is we, we got a full test kit uh, it's a Red Sea test kit really excited about that I'm gonna go home and learn how to use it but the other thing is we did decide to go with the actual live rock the wet live rock uh, and the reason why we chose to do it that way is because of what Joe uh, and his employee in there explained as far as the process that they go through to cure this rock and, and to get it ready for sale. It's actually a multi-stage process and I was convinced in the end that it was not going to bring along a bunch of crap with it. So. Um, you know it, it wasn't all salesmen talk it made a lot of sense what they were doing what they were talking about so 
convinced me to do it, and we had a lot of fun doing it. I mean, we were sitting the rocks down on the floor and putting them in different positions, trying to, you know, pick the right ones, and it was a blast. I also picked up a fire shrimp and four snails, and I've already forgotten what the names of the snails are uh, that they sold me, but uh, just, a, just a great experience overall. It was a lot of fun. First time her and I have done a fish tour trip, or a fish store trip in a while, and it was it was a great time. I can't wait to go back there. So anyway, um, if you're in the Richmond area of Virginia or you're anywhere near Richmond, head down to Fish World. It's a great store. I had an absolute blast in there, and the two big tanks, the 1,200 gallon and the 900 gallon, will they will absolutely blow your mind. I mean, it it certainly blew mine. So I'm gonna go home now. Start playing around with the rocks and get them in the tank, get the sand in the tank and get this thing going. Uh, so be on the lookout for the next one. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to it. Even you saltwater people, you should subscribe too because I don't have a lot of subscribers that are saltwater people. So subscribe to the channel so you'll see the next uh, update on the saltwater tank. But uh, until then, thank you so much for watching. This has been a fun day and I will see you on the next video.